Welcome to Gallagher's Grub. Today I'm firing up the Weber kettle and making a rotisserie duck with a bed of potatoes underneath to collect all that duck fat. It's going to be great, so stick around. Okay, so here we have our duck. This duck weighs about six pounds. It was frozen yesterday, so I defrosted it all day yesterday. And you see how there's there's all this skin here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove some of this skin here on the by the cavity. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse out the bird because you can see in there there's some of that red fluid in there. I'm going to go rinse the bird out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I rinsed the bird off and I patted it dry and I rinsed it out. And now what I'm going to do is see, you can see this bird here, this duck still has the neck attached. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the neck with my shears. Okay. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bamboo skewer and I just cut it in half and I'm basically, I'm just going to poke holes all over the skin of the entire duck. And so you don't want to penetrate the meat, but this duck, because it's a water bird, it has a lot of fat under the skin so that it can float and keep warm in the winter. You don't want to go too deep, just break the skin so that when it cooks, some of that fat can render out and baste the skin. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some garlic salt. Just go all over the skin, inside the cavity as well. I'm going to fold these wings underneath the bird like this. There we go. So they're out of the way. All right. Now we've got our salt on the duck. And I'm going to let this dry brine for about two to three hours. So I'll see you then. All right, so here is our duck. It's been in the refrigerator with the dry brine for about two hours, maybe three. And we're gonna go ahead and put in some, some orange slices with some rosemary, some fresh rosemary into the cavity. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna truss the rear legs. Now, you might wanna truss the entire bird, but I think by pinning these legs back here, I'm gonna be able to pin them <clears throat> into the um, onto the spit and they won't flop around. So I'm just gonna truss these back legs here. As best I can. Well, that should hold. Okay, so now I'm going to place the duck onto the skewer. I'll flip this over. I want to show you this part here. I want to get these. I want to get these wings tucked under the hooks so that they don't flop around during the cook. All right. We're good. All right. <laughs> A little bit of effort. But we've got our duck now on the skewer. I'm just going to season it up a little bit more and then we'll get it onto the grill. Just gonna hit it with a little bit 
of the garlic salt, just a little bit, and some fresh ground black pepper. And the last thing I want to do before this goes onto the grill is I'm going to take my Thermopro temp spike and place it right into the leg area here. And then I'm going to take the white one, place that into the breast meat up here. That way we'll get a good idea when this bird is done. So you can see here how I have the grill set up. I've got an aluminum pan in the middle that's going to go directly underneath the duck. And on either side, I've got Weber baskets filled with B&B &B briquettes. Now, I've never tried this brand of briquettes before, this B&B &B brand, so I'm curious to see how well they perform. And now you can see the duck is coming along quite nicely. It looks beautiful. And so what I want to do now is just glaze it with some teriyaki sauce. Now, I love teriyaki sauce. And when I think of roast duck, you know, giving it a nice Asian spin to it, it's going to be just absolutely terrific. Okay, taking a quick look at the temperature, our black probe is reading 158 degrees, and that was in the leg. And then our white probe is at 156, and that was in the breast part of the meat. Now our grill's been running a little bit hot and we are just about done and I haven't even put the potatoes in so I'm going to end up cooking the potatoes after the duck is finished which will be any moment now. And our duck is finished. Go ahead and pull this off the grill. Looks pretty gorgeous if you ask me. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Get this off the grill. Weber kettle rotisserie duck. I mean, just how good does that look? Okay, so this here is my first ever rotisserie duck, and I'll tell you, the, my first impression of making this is. Well, first of all, it smells terrific. It smells excellent. Um, but it cooked so much quicker than I thought it was going to cook. I'm using B&B briquette charcoal that I've never used before. And so the grill was running a little bit hot. And this bird was done in probably about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. But I'm going to give it a taste. Uh, you know, I'll start with a little breast meat, I guess. Looks great. Try the skin here. Here we go. Mmm. That's really tasty. Let me try another one. Get a little more meat on this one. Use my fingers. Mm. Wow, that's really, really good. And I'll try some of this, this uh, dark meat here. So really, really though, when you think about duck, I mean it's all kind of dark meat. There's really no, no white meat on it. But the, the legs are even darker meat than the breast. That is terrific. I'm gonna be trying the potatoes next. Um, once they're done, I'm gonna pull those off the grill. But the duck itself is excellent. Really an interesting cook. Uh, it's a bit stressful because it cooked so quickly that I wasn't able to get the potatoes in uh, when I wanted them to. But overall, I think it's really great there's a few improvements I'd probably make, but this is a really, really tasty, tasty duck. Give me one more taste here of the breast meat. Mmm.
That is delicious. So stick around. I'm going to try out the potatoes next. So these potatoes, we started in the duck fat on the grill and then brought them inside and finished them in the kitchen in a frying pan with garlic salt, fresh ground black pepper, cornmeal, and some fresh rosemary. And finally, we have our duck roasted potatoes. Threw some rosemary in there. I'm gonna give this a taste. Mm. Really nice. Ooh, hot. Those are great. Um, the duck, really tasty. That duck fat really is a special thing. You know, on these potatoes, it's, it's terrific. And uh, yeah, add some duck to your diet and, <laughs> you know, use the, uh, use the rotisserie if you can. The rotisserie is really just like a fun device to use. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what your thoughts on rotisserie duck are or your favorite way to cook duck. And of course, keep on grilling.